Okay, so let's start your environmental inter staff, right? Yes. So please tell me what is BOD and what are the two stages of BOD? Sir, BOD is defined as biochemical oxygen demand, which is required by microorganisms to decompose organic matter. And it has some. Uh, it has two stages. Uh, first one is carbonaceous oxygen demand, and then it comes with nitrogenous oxygen demand. Yes, sir. Okay. What do you understand by inversion lab state? Sir, inversion split. Inversion lab state. Okay, sir. Inversion lab state is uh, when uh, normally with, uh, when the air parcel is very heated, it goes up. And uh, the temperature reduces, but in inversion, uh, the situation is reversed. Uh, when it goes up, uh, it basically increases its temperature. Okay. Basic, uh, basic... Which is the best plume? Okay. Which is the best plume behavior and which is the worst plume behavior and why? Sir, uh, the best uh, plume behavior is uh, lofting, and the worst okay. is uh, fumigation. Yes, sir. Why, sir? So because in the fumigation, uh, it is the inversion uh, case scenario. Below the stack height, uh, it will be inversion. Uh, so because of that, uh, all the air particles that are harmful, it will remain uh, uh, nearest to the ground level. That would be harmful for the people residing in that industry. So it is the case with fumigation and in lofting, uh, all the air particles will uh, gonna uh, come uh, rise up. Uh, up the uh, stack height, so it will be uh, okay. Uh, good for that. Yes, okay. Write a question. Ex uh, just a minute. Sir. Yes, sir. Do initial is ten mg per liter? Yes, sir. Do final is two mg per liter? Two. Two mg per liter, okay. and it is a two percent solution. Two percent solution. What will be the BOD five? <clears throat> BOD five. Five will be eight mg per liter. Write one more question. Yes, sir. This time, do initial was ten mg per liter? Okay, sir. Do final after five days of incubation is zero mg per liter? Okay, sir. Again, two percent solution it is. Okay, sir. Tell me what is BOD five? Do initial is ten mg per liter. Do final after five days is zero. Sir, I write my sir. I am confused little. Okay. Sir, I will go and read. Okay. Okay. Done. What is Wenthal Farinius equation? N B O D rate kinemat uh, reaction kinematics. So pardon, sir. What do you? What is Wenthal Arrhenius equation? Arrhenius Arrhenius equation. Yes, Wenthal Arrhenius minus uh, A E raised to the power minus E by R T. Can you write it on the paper and show it to me? Yes, sir. So A is the constant. Where do you use this equation? So in the uh, uh, the rate reactions. What activation, rate reactions? So, so activation E is the activation energy which reduces 
uh, and uh, which facilitates the uh, proceeding of that reaction where do you use this reaction equation in environmental engineering okay wapas le lo laptop wapas fold yes, kar do screen okay sir so we use it in uh, various chemical processes that may be taken place in uh, i asked you right to write when the perenius equation in bod reaction kinetics bod reaction kinetics Um, sir, I'm not uh, okay. Write a question again for me. You have three cations, which is calcium, magnesium, and aluminium. Yes, sir. Concentration, must write now. Just these ions, and in anions you have hydroxide ion, carbonate ion, bicarbonate ion, hmm. and chloride ion. And And chloride ion. Chloride. Okay, sir. How do you find NCH, which is non-carbonate hardness and carbonate hardness? I mean, which ions will be contributing towards carbonate <laughs> hardness and which ions will be contributing towards non-carbonate hardness? And how do you find from these ions concentration? But we'll uh, search out uh, the total hardness. It will be due to the multivalent cations. In this case, it will be calcium, magnesium, and aluminium. And okay. Uh, For carbonate hardness, it will be carbonates and uh, just like uh, bicarbonates and carbonates. We will add up uh, these two, and uh, by subtracting from total hardness, we'll get non-carbonate hardness. Okay. Okay. My last question to you is: Name four greenhouse gases. Sir, uh, it would be. Uh, it would be carbon monoxide ozone methane and chlorofluorocarbons you must have heard about two protocols one is vienna convention and one is montreal protocol yes sir montreal what Pro are these kiske regarding hai dono montreal protocol is for uh, the protection of the ozone for the for uh, reducing the usage of uh, all those materials which uh, Uh, emits uh, these chlorofluorocarbons which are the solely responsible for ozone depletion and uh, okay now vena pro uh, protocol if i'm not wrong it is for uh survey term sir sir it is uh, uh, for the harmful substances that it's been uh, traded not for traded across the borders there have been uh... okay okay no issue okay then let me give you your feedback archit your introduction was good i mean you explained very uh, uh, you know smoothly and you were smooth enough your fluency was good you were good in confidence right and uh, environment mein you know when we asked about uh, lofty glow men uh, after that uh, asked you about inversion that is also correct right bod you answered correctly but when i gave you a question bod basically basically bod 5 is do initial minus do final into dilution factor do yeah. initial was 10 mg per liter do final was 2 mg per liter and dilution factor was 2% which is 100 divided by 2 which is 50 mm -hmm. volume right mm -hmm. so this will give out to be result will give out to come out to be 400 mg per liter yes, sir, yes. in the second part i asked you do initial is same 10 mg per liter and do final was 0 mg per liter yes sir bod5 we can't we can't determine from this uh, this term basically we don't know when at what day the bod or oh, sorry, sorry the do reduces to zero mm -hmm. we only take do after 5 days but in this case we don't know at which day is it may become zero at third day or fourth day so you can't say it is bod5 yes sir right so you can't determine in that case after yes. that i asked you when the perenius equation in bod reaction kinetics mm -hmm. so that is for that, that this uh, this equation we use to determine the rate constant at any temperature t which is kd at t temperature is equal to so can Is, can you please slow down? I want to write okay, it. Okay. 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 So, Benthoparinus equation is 
KD at any temperature T degree Celsius. Basically, KD T is equal to KD 20 degree Celsius. Okay, sir. This formula, I have known that. Okay, okay. Into 1.047 raised to power T minus 20. And this is also uh, a different uh, rate constant for deoxygenation, na? Yes. Uh, yes. Different. 1.047. Yes, yes. Yes, correct. This is so after that constant. I mean, adding this in, is, sir, this deoxygenation is, constant or rate constant, same, same thing. Correct. After that, I asked you about total non-carbon hardness and carbon hardness, and I gave you ions. Basically, uh, we calculate carbon hardness as minimum of total hardness and alkalinity. Total hardness will be due to the calcium, magnesium, and aluminium, which is multivalent cations, mm -hmm. and alkalinity will be due to the hydroxide, carbonate, and bicarbonate ions, right? Not because of chlorides, right? Yes, sir. So, whatever the value of these two, we choose the minimum one to calculate the carbon hardness. And non carbon hardness will be equal to TH, total hardness minus alkalinity. And if it comes, comes out negative, we take it as zero. Just a minute, carbonate may bolata ki carbonate or bicarbonate ke addition karbenge. If it goes uh, like uh, alkalinity is zada, to wo wrong ho jayega na mera answer. Ha, wo wrong ho jayega. Correct. After that, lastly, I asked you, what are four greenhouse gases? Basically, four greenhouse gases are methane, carbon dioxide, uh, CFCs, and nitrous oxide, N2O. N2O, okay. Nitrous oxide is the most harmful gas, 250 times more harmful than carbon dioxide. So, if say greenhouse, so water vapor bhi hoti hai, wo bhi to bol sakta hai. More major four greenhouse gases basically I, I wanted to ask you order wise if we calculate you know major greenhouse gases which contribute towards greenhouse effect, right? So these four are the greenhouse gases, right? Yes, right. So these were the these were the questions. I mean, uh, thoda, I, I feel like confidence is important. You were confident in the start, but somehow when I asked you questions and you were you know uh, getting stuck, so thoda confidence lose kar rahe, they never do that. Okay, you are good at, at your, you know, uh, 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 education and you are confident. So stay confident. Don't lose that. Even if you are answering one out of 10 questions, stay confident. Yes, right. Sir. And always have an explanation even for wrong answer. Right. Never guess in the interview. Never guess. Stay mm -hmm. confident. Never guess. Just tell whichever, whatever you know about that topic. Right. Or what, whatever is relevant. What should be my, don't, if I don't know, what should be my approach? Yes, sir, no, no. Your, uh, if yeah, yeah, I don't, I am not able to recall as of now. That's it. They will change the topic. They will change the question. Sir, will so, it? Because it, it is very human nature that we can't know everything, right? It is very human. So that is pretty okay. Right? Yes, so sir. no issues with that. So you can go like that. And your confidence was good. I feel like you make a lag rahe. When is your interview? Sir, interview will be 5th March. Ko hai. You still have time. So, like revision or dallo. I mean, thoda confusion ho I think abhi revise nahi kiya tha in baad mein. Thoda feel like. Okay, okay. okay. Thoda kar lo. Abhi to you have like a whole uh, one and a half month, right? So you still have time. Basically, sir, abhi maine abhi isle lagaya hai kyunki mere placements ka chal raha hai abhi core placement. Okay, okay. Usi mein hi baithunga main. Good, no issue. Uske liye bhi dono preparation ho jayegi. Thoda time hai abhi prepare kar lo. Revision, always uh, revise a subject before giving a snap or interview. Thoda confidence built ho jata hai, thoda ek background knowledge ho jati hai. Rest, everything is okay. As far as I know, I mean, as, far, as far as I feel, everything is okay. If you have any question, you can ask me. Yes, sir. Sir, like I have done an internship in Delhi internship board. So, I got a lot of knowledge practical knowledge. Now, I've been doing it for a year. So, I've forgotten a little bit about it. उसकी डिटेलिंग्स को मुझसे पूछेंगे क्या डिटेलिंग्स माने जैसे सेडिमेंटेशन की स्पेसिफिक uh, ग्रेविटी पूछ ली आपने देखो जो आपके सब्जेक्ट से रिलेटेड है वो पूछ सकते हैं डेफिनेटली बाकी इससे बचने का एक तरीका है एक सेफ फैक्टर है कि थोड़ा एक यू you नो know, एक वन और टू पेज का एक प्रॉपर एक वो बना लो शॉर्ट नोट्स ओके okay. तो आपने किया सो दैट उनके पूछने से पहले आपके पास कंटेंट हो कुछ बोलने के लिए गो इन द गो लाइक दैट थोड़ा आपने पास से आपने जो जो किया whatever the feature जो whatever the activities you did while your internship you can tell them तो वो उससे क्वेश्चन पूछेंगे और सर जैसे मैं अभी UPSC की प्रिपरेशन कर रहा था 
फाइनल ईयर में तो मेरे को वो बताना क्योंकि मैंने ना इंटर्नशिप के अलावा और ज्यादा एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर में नहीं करा मेरे को थोड़ा ऐसे नॉलेज वगैरह का ही है ज्यादा एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर में करा नहीं मैंने तो इस वजह से अगर मैं बोलूंगा यूपीएससी प्रिपरेशन तो वो सही रहेगा या गलत नेगेटिव इम्पैक्ट यू कैन आस्क यू कैन टॉक विद एच आर एक एच आर स्नैप लगा लो उसके लिए राइट उसमें आपको प्रॉपर फीडबैक मिलेगा एच आर रिगार्डिंग राइट तो वो एच आर पार्ट हो गया आपका वो आपको बेटर बता पाएंगे इसका राइट इफ यू एनी डाउट उस पर लिख के आप उनसे स्नैप पे पूछ सकते हैं करेक्ट थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच अर्चित थैंक यू सो मच